Next up, Frank Palazzo, NQ89, electrically tunable inductors for low-pass filters and other applications. Green light is on. There we go. Hey, um, this is an idea that I had a little while ago. Unfortunately, I have more ideas than I have time to flesh them out, so this is a way to get it in other people's heads, and maybe somebody will look into it. Um, Switch to the next slide. So yes, electrically tunable inductors for low-pass filters. Uh, what am I talking about? Well, first a disclaimer, I'm, uh, I'm an electrical engineer, but I'm, I'm not really an RF guy. So at worst, um, the good news is I will have only wasted four minutes and 15 more seconds of your time uh, if this doesn't pan out. But I was looking at modern uh, QRP SDR radios like the, uh, the QCX and now the upcoming QSX. And one of the things stood out to my sense of aesthetics, which was um, you managed to compress all the different uh, functions for all the different bands into sort of one building block, except for um, the transmit filter, right? They have uh, separate ladder filters for harmonic on the output. And uh, for whatever reason, I just started to think, wow, why isn't that something that we can smash together into something generic? Um, so this was, this was the thought that led me to this idea. And, um, you know, we have uh, single winding inductors, obviously, what would happen if we decided to try to take multi-winding inductors and use the primary as a uh, control signal and the secondary as a, way, uh, as a controlled inductance, essentially? Um, so could we make uh, electrically or technically magnetically tunable inductors? Um, beyond that, could we make tunable filters? Because we have a lot of micro uh, capabilities inside the radio. And, uh, they could generate whatever kind of control signals we would need um, rather easily. So, and, and then what else could we do? Um, and I started looking through some historical precedents for these kinds of things because it seems like a really simple old idea. And the closest thing I came up with was the idea of magnetic amplifiers, which they used to use uh, in the olden days for, uh, I think, stage lighting and other things to modulate 60 hertz power. So you have 60 hertz power and they could literally dim it and make it brighter and dimmer by doing this kind of thing. Um, so the key question is, if we have sophisticated control of a primary winding, what kind of wideband, key word, wideband properties can we control in the inductance of a secondary winding? So this sounds very highfalutin as a research program, but really I'm just uh, hoping that someone can either tell me this is a stupid idea or um, sit down and maybe do some of these things, uh, what you need to do, right? You can sit down with some inductors, cores, test circuit, network analyzer, and play around and see what kind of properties you could you could get from doing this kind of thing at, at small to medium power ranges. And then um, finally, uh, the other side of that is if that's successful, on the software side, you know, analog filter design is mostly based on things that go all the way back to the 1960s with various constraints from the 1960s. But if you had uh, variable value components that you could change dynamically, what kind of filtering could you do? Um, and, of course, we have computers that can help you know, us sort through all that complexity. So that would be the, the next stage. And uh, if, if you could come up with something, maybe you'd come up with nothing, but if you could come up with something, um, tunable filters for harmonic suppression was the first thing I thought about. But, and, and maybe you could do something with receiver filters too, but most of that's probably done in software these days. Um, the other thought I had is, you know, you have antenna tuners, right, where you have this permutation of things you control with relays. Um, you know, maybe you wouldn't need all those relays if you could do something fancy. So, uh, and beyond that, there might be other applications. So, um, maybe somebody could sit down with a, uh, um, some of these tools and see if they could come up with something. That's about all. Thank you.